Hey there guys. I'm moving back into my file of facts and it's feeling a little bit disjointed. So let's see if we can put all of this together. I've been in my clever fox this week. Um, and just see, I got some of this stuff done. Some of it. Some of these things still need to get moved over. And there's a lot of stuff from this week that needs to get migrated, but I want to set up the system in the file effects first. Because it's feeling a little bit like, so I moved out of the file effects in the first place because it was starting to feel like too much. Um, like it was the same and I needed to kind of get it, get away from it in my head a little bit. Um, and now I need to move back because I feel like I've started drifting um, without it there. So really, really excited to get back to my standard system. Um, this is all of the YouTube planning stuff, which I um, don't really show too much on camera because I don't want to give away too much, but um, I moved it into the pocket of the file effect, or sorry, of the, the back pocket of the other planner um, so that I could sort of work on planning ahead for um, for August, but then that didn't happen. So I'm moving them back in now. <laughs> so as you see, I started um, setting up some of these uh, while I was watching Stranger Things on the couch uh, last night, the night before, because um, I, I wanted to get started, but then I didn't have my paper cutter because I brought it over to my in-laws house for the party. And now, you know what? And I only just picked it up from them last night, so. Uh, it was kind of weird because I didn't notice it was gone because I wasn't in a DIY planner for a week. And it felt like I was missing an arm. Like, what am I supposed to do? Cut it with scissors? No. All right. So I needed to make a new uh, context list. The sky. I think I should, have I? I believe I have made a dedicated video talking about what this is, how I use it, and it is up there. It's a little out of date. I should probably update it, but it was part of my um, vlogmas this last year. And it's getting less and less relevant every single month, even though I am in denial that we're in the latter half of the year already. So this matches the, um, the color scheme for my monthly. These here are some week on two pages from my summer touch, but I, I printed these out before I decided to move into here for this week. These are actually for next week and the week after because they're dated. So I'm just going to cut those later. This here is part of the Peanuts Planner Co. Uh, yearly bundle, the undated yearly bundle, and it's a year on a page tracker and I use this for my um, bra tracking which I used to do forever ago. I should make a dedicated video to that one but basically I just track which bra I'm wearing every day so that I can keep track of um, when I need to wash them. That's all it is and so I don't wear them like too often in a row. Let me see. So this is a, yeah, I forget, it's just year at a glance, year on a page tracker, and it's part of the um, yearly undated bundle from Peanuts Planner Co. I actually purchased it as the 2018 bundle and then it got converted over. So if you have the 2018 bundle, um, take a look because some of the update, some of them, the inserts have been updated since then. So if you go back to re-download them, they're slightly different. And none of them have dates anymore. It's interesting. This is my NFP chart. Um, I went ahead and I just took the actual chart. Instead of trying to like jerry-rig something in my planner, I just 
I was thinking of using like a monthly tracker and kind of copying all of this information over. Um, but instead I was like, wait, why don't I just take the actual chart, print it, uh, this I ended up printing at 60%. And so there it fits. Now I just have to see where we are as far as width, because I need to fold it obviously more than usual. So if I like folded it in half, I think that would be too much. Oh, that might fit if I fold it like this. I'm going to do that sort of gently, gently, gently fold it this far. Um, no, I don't know if that would fit. No, it's too tight. Okay, let's fold it a little bit closer then. Will that fit halfway? Then fold and... Do, do, do. See, I was trying to see if I could fold it just once. I think I'm just going to have to fold it multiple times. So I'm just going to trim this to where... I can punch it. And then let me just grab this out. I need to pull this out anyway. And then we'll fold here. Yeah, it's a little bit messy, but whatever. And then just fold it in again. And that's the baby up from her nap. All right, so here's the deal. <laughs> it just, it seems like everything's going on at once and I just really need to, I feel like I need to be in here <laughs> um, in one place. And so I started, I skipped ahead a little bit. Um, this is everything I decluttered out of my planner that I didn't need anymore. Um, old weeklies, old project pages, um, reference spreads that I wasn't referencing. So I'm gonna have to archive those somewhere. So I'm not like waiting for um, quiet or anything right now. The baby woke up from her nap. She's playing with the little um, wiggly doorstop. So you'll hear that noise probably. I'm gonna do a full flip through of this, I think tomorrow. But in the meantime, um, what we've got roughly is context list in the front, um, bra tracker, NFP chart, and then everything normal. Um, this is the same monthly, but I haven't done anything in this tracker yet. Um, so I'm going to kind of go back maybe and fill that in as I go. Um, so that's one thing I need to work on. I don't have anything in my weeklies right now because, as I said, I'm going to cut these out and stick them in there. But um, for this next week, I'm, I think I'm just going to be in this section. So I've got this um, weekly, week on six pages from my summer touch. Um, and so it was, it, the way this works, I believe Monday, I can't really read it underneath all the washi tape. I believe it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I know this is the weekend. But Monday, Tuesday, we're going to be here. And the rest of the week, we're going to be at Comic-Con. So I switched it up. I put Monday, Tuesday here, Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday, Saturday, Sunday here. Um, so this is going to be my hourly schedule and then I just have a bunch of blank pages in here and, and I'm going to just sort of make Bujo style spreads as I feel I need them. And um, that's what all this is for and I haven't yet decided or gotten through and sat down and figured out exactly what that is. I thought today would be the day I would have a chunk of time to do that. It's not. So anyway, and then the rest of these sections are the same. I just kind of pared them down, got rid of some spreads I didn't need. And so we're quite slim right now, um, which is good because that means that I have room to put my cards back in here as soon as I find my card envelopes. Um, but in the meantime, the thing I really need to do 
is just take everything out of the Fox, the Clever Fox planner um, and migrate it over here. So I'm gonna fast forward when they do that. Thank you, Agnes. <laughs> All right, so I think that's it. Um, I, like I said, am gonna do a full flip through tomorrow. Um, I might at some point get a chance to go over this weekly overview spread, um, but today just ended up being shorter than I expected, partly because I got a two hour nap, which was amazing. Uh, but what that does mean is that I can stay up later tonight to edit this video. Um, and yeah, I'm just throwing this out there. Life is messy sometimes, but I feel like once I can go through here and get everything in one cover, I'm gonna feel the illusion of having a little bit more control over it all. So uh, I'll let you know tomorrow how that's going in any case. Um, tune in then and I'll see you later, bye.